All right, hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to kinda of go over the three trailers that I like to use when I'm fishing a jig and the situations where I use them and the time of year. And we'll, we'll start at the beginning of the year and work towards the end of the year. And by beginning of the year, I'm gonna stay probably around springtime. And when springtime hits, basically spring through summer, and then once we get into the fall, I switch it up. But spring through summer, I like to use a chigger crawl um, the reason I like to use this, I like I like Berkeley power bait just because I do believe when fish do bite it, they do hold on to it a little longer. But also the fact that it's just something about the claws I like. It's not like a crazy action. I mean, I will throw like a twin tail grub a lot too, that, but that seems to have a lot more action than I like. And recently I found out I don't want too much action. I like a kind of slower, lazy action. Yes, the chigger crawl will have a lot of action if you're reeling it or if you're stroking and pumping it, but most of the time when I'm fishing a jig, I'm not really stroking it. I'm kind of just dragging along the bottom, maybe raising it a few inches or so. And if you actually look at it in the water when you're, you know, you drop it beside you next to the bait, next to the boat, and you move your jig around, it doesn't really have a lot of action until you really start getting some force behind that lure when you're pulling it. But most of the time it's kind of just like a lazy action and especially when it sits there in the water and it sits up those claws kind of just float and flop around kind of lazy like and everything and i just you know i have a lot of confidence in that trailer and when i move into the summer i'll throw that one as well but i do like to pick up and put on just this is just a regular rage menace not the magnum I do like to throw this on there, especially if I'm fishing around, you know, thicker cover. If I'm flipping a jig or pitching a jig into like lily pads or tall grass, something with that little slender shape, it just makes it easier for that jig to get down in there. Because I mean, with a jig already, you're already going to have kind of a bulky presentation, especially with that skirt. So a lot of times I'll trim that skirt down a bit just so it doesn't have anything to really cause drag or catch on when it's coming into the grass or I'm trying to pull it up out of the grass. And so this is a good presentation right there for that, just being able to have that slender profile. And then on the back again, you got those tails. And all these baits that I'm about to show you, except for one, they come and the appendages are attached. So a lot of times too, if you want less action, like when I was on Lake Cumberland uh, for the Toyota Series Championship, I was throwing this trailer. It was probably 32 degrees out, 34, and it was, you know, it was raining and wet. But I left the appendages on this attached just to give it a little more lazy, less action motion. And I was able to catch probably, I think it was like around 13 and a half pounds of smallmouth, had me in 13th place after day one. And I think that contributed a lot to it. And plus with the smallmouth, what I did was I actually took the trailer. I like it too. This is the four inch, I believe. Yeah, it's the four inch chigger crawl. I cut it down about halfway just to give that bait a smaller compact profile. And that's another thing I like about that chigger crawl. You can adjust it. They sell they sell a smaller one, but I just go ahead and just buy the big ones. If I need to downsize it, I'll just snip it off right in the middle of the body. And that just downsizes my profile. But again, just the, the fact that I left the actual claws connected just gave it a flow in motion when it sits there in the water, especially when it's really cold. But back to this one again, it's the same thing. You can keep them together and that will also give you a little less action and be a little more subtle presentation, which I like a lot. I like a lot of subtle presentations. But again, also when you pull them apart and you're flipping that thing in grass, and you're ripping it up and down and really it gets a lot of action going and it'll help trigger those strikes on a lot of those fish. If you ever see like, this is usually what Seth Fire's throwing on the back of his jig when he's flipping in tall grass and things like that. He's throwing the Rage Menace. And then when it gets, you know, more into the winter time, I'll throw it in the summer too and the spring, but really in the winter time, this is just the zoom uh, chunk. This isn't the, I, I can't find, I can't find my bait, my super salty chunk, like the big ones. I like to throw the bigger ones because they have a smaller, they have smaller appendages. I feel like I'm missing a bag somewhere because I can't find my 10 inch worms or most of my jig trailers. But I was able to find this in one of my drawers up here. But basically it's the same style, it's the same style uh, trailer. And I rig it the same way I would rig any of these. I'll thread the hook right down the middle of it and have it come out. And all those big salty chunks with the appendages 
being a lot shorter and a lot fatter. They have a very, you know, very minimal action. And in the wintertime, that's what you want. You don't want a lot of action in the, you know, in those colder months. You want something that's lackadaisical, something that's not going to move a lot. Because I've found that fish, um, when baits have a lot of action, you're popping around. A lot of times they get, they, they run away from it. So again, that's a good, that's a good one for the winter time. And these are basically the three I only throw. Like I said, I do throw the zoom twin tail grub sometimes just cause if they're really on the jig, I start going through trailer after trailer, especially skipping around docks. And I mean, with this one too, um, the chair crawl, you know, skipping around docks and things like that, when you skip it all day, eventually appendages will break off. Like this one's already starting to tear a little bit there. That's the downsize to having some, you know, thinner appendages and things. But again, the reason I like that chair crawl, I just like the, I like the profile those claws give off more so than something like a, a, a curly tail or something like that. I think they've actually done a study on what fish bite more, <laughs> something with appendages or something without. They actually bite something that doesn't have appendages. So, so if you're ever wondering why like a Ned rig does so well, it's because probably it doesn't have appendages. So that's why I like these three trailers. I'm always looking for something with a little less action and then it's just my personal favorite. So go ahead, give these things a try. Remember, if you're trying to get in thicker, heavier cover, flipping around grass, arrangement is always a good bet for a trailer. Just something to keep your bait more compact and slender, slide down in that grass and be able to pull it out. So again, these are the three trailers I like to throw. Go ahead, give them a try. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys next time.